five, 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 Mom, 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 mom. Let's get ready now. Let's get ready now. Let's get ready to retro. Let's get ready to retro. Get ready. Get steady and retro. Everybody retro. Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live, where we hammer games live. No, we don't really do that. We don't hammer it. So it's not what we do here. Hammering games is not what we do. We like to enjoy games and today we like to create games so shall we go straight to having a look at who is in the chat hello there to sir patrick furlong how are you doing and uh, today we are of course continuing our quest to create a new game on multiple platforms shall we bring it up beep 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 here we are this is roland rescue redux melody says hello auntie zoe and can she be in your game please don't know. I don't know. Should we put a cat in a game? Ooh. Perhaps we can do that. We'll see. James Pet says we could hammer some games. We absolutely could. Hammering them out of bear bites. Absolutely. So the first thing we need to, uh, to deal with is the fact that this is uh, a new game we're creating and we need to have a look at it to make sure that we know what we're doing. I do not know what I'm doing. I can't guarantee I don't know what I'm doing. You're making a multi-platform platform game. I absolutely am. So here we are. Here's our game. Right. The first thing I can see is that we have a monster that goes really, really fast, left and right. Like, seriously fast, and to the point where we can't see what it's doing very well. So we're going to have to slow that down. So let's have a look around. We've got our jump button. There we have our jump button. We also have this. We have some... Uh, I've just picked up a present and got 10 points. But if I go back, the present's back. And I get another 10 points. Well, that's not good. We we can't seem to get rid of all of the things we're collecting, which means that the entire focus of the game doesn't work. So, this can be a, quite a problem for us. So, how much does a... That takes a fair amount of damage. If we sit there, it will take our damage down. So, what I'm suggesting is... Hi, Hillside Junction, how you doing? So, what I'm suggesting is we remove the... Uh, little uh, present icons and also the what what's the other thing that we've got we've got like i can't even remember what this is supposed to be um <coughs> were they goblets or something so i'm suggesting we take those out we're going to remake them instead as uh, something more useful let's say we have instead of those presents and goblets we have like a cup of tea and perhaps a pudding the pudding would give us an extra bonus i'll grant you that but to have tea and puddings we could then have those give us energy because if you notice whenever we're hit by a monster we lose a bit of energy and then uh the uh if we get down to zero we lose a life so what if we have because the best platform gaming involves trains and platforms and the player has to defeat <laughs> great stream going uh, <laughs> cuteness. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is we take the, out the par the parcels that we've got, the presents and stuff, and instead we make them tea and uh, puddings. Yes. So let's do this. Here's our thing. This is a collectible. At the moment, that's what we've got. Cake equals health. Essentially, yes. So I'm just going to delete all of this. All of that deleted and now i'm going to set it up as let's see we've got a nice yes we'll have a, a nice cup does that does that look okay as a cup kind of works as a cup we need a saucer underneath it no not that that that, 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 that. that doesn't work does it that doesn't work okay uh level lemon drizzle cake <laughs> yeah so i'm trying to draw a cup and it's not working out very well because unfortunately we're on a spectrum here and it has very limited uh color schemes which is not the best for trying to create something uh, like this how's that maybe you have scones that are like puddings but less effective we could i don't want to go too deep into different power-ups at this point but it certainly is a possibility that kind of works as a as a as a handle doesn't it does that work yeah kind of and then let's uh 
do a little bit there where you get to see it a little bit. No, that doesn't work at all. That is that is a terrible cup, but it'll work for the moment. Let's, let's leave it as that. Then the next one, well, this has to be cake. We need a slice of cake. I love going deep, Jane. <laughs> we can see what we can do. We'll we'll go deep. There's brown. Brown kind of works for cake. Well, it'll be a slice of chocolate cake. Right. Does this work? That's cake. The problem that we have is that we can only have. Uh, two colours. That kind of works as cake. As a slice of cake. Doesn't it? Ooh! There we go. Cake. There we go. Tea and cake. Right. So now what we need to do is go into our events. Uh, where is the one for uh, collect block? You need black dots for the fruit. But when we do black dots, it, it doesn't look quite right. Yeah, that's the problem, uh, James. No no uh, space for for colour. There, that works. Yeah, that, that'll be okay. So we need to go into events. You're good at this drama. I wish I was. Go into events. Where's the bit about the sprites? If I go to sprite type 2... Uh, da, da, da. If collision player, subtract 1 from E... So we take we lose one every single point. Okay, so subtract one from E. E is our energy. Close that. Events. Collect block. Score ten. Add ten to E. Let's see how that works. Save that. File. Build. We have to build the game now. Uh, that, that this is the only problem with stuff like this. So we've got different uh, things, and the, the 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 collectibles are there. They're not going to add a huge amount to your energy, but I don't think that matters because they are, of course, <laughs> going to come back. So if you need more, you can always run back in. And see how this works. So we're going to load that up and see if that works nicely. Although I've just realised we might need to change the E structure. So if it goes over a hundred, then it goes back to ninety-nine. Like if it goes, if it's greater than or equal to one hundred, then E equals ninety-nine. Then we'll we'll put a check in like that later on. We'll see what happens. Oops, what have I just caught my leg on? Ah, the power cables, that's not good. Surely 100 should be the limit, not 99. This isn't dizzy. Um, the thing about uh, going to 100 is that would mean that we need a uh, three-digit health, and we only have a two-digit health. Let's see how this works. So, we still got that guy going too fast. We now have T's everywhere. Actually, those T's look pretty good. Okay, this might work. Right. Nothing changed there, so... Ah! We didn't update! And now we have the, the issue with the three digits of health. So we didn't update. There we go. We had a piece of cake. And a tea. They look pretty damn good, actually. Okay, I like this. Right. Yeah, that's working out. That's okay now. Okay, so we need to change a few things. Event. Go to... Uh, Interacting with sprites. Uh, at da, 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 just yeah, there we'll take that. Control C. Current the cups will be white rather than yellow. 
Uh, yeah, we can sort that out. Editor blocks go straight to the T and change this. There you are. Cup is now white. Events uh, collect block. Show score at 22 E. So, oh, actually, yeah. There we go. Um, there we go. Show that. Uh, do, 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 do. Add 10 to E. We need to add in this other thing. If. If E greater than. If e is greater than 99. E equals 99. And if. Save. There we go. That should be okay there. Right. We need to check our sprite type 3, I believe it is. This is the guy that's moving uh, very, very fast. If I... <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, slow this guy down. How... Um, give me one second. Go to sprite type 2. How's he moving? He's moving fairly quickly, isn't he? Can I go up going to do it in the wrong one? Where's our events? Sprite type 1. He's gone 16. But he's going a lot slower. So I don't get that. I don't... Why is this guy... Huh. I don't get why this... This new guy's going so fast. I don't get... No, I just don't get why this is going. Subtract 8 from X. I'm going to change that to 4. And add a 4 to X. Just to see if he slows down a bit. File. Save. All I want is for this guy to be slower. So we can actually see uh, what he's doing. So we're going to run that. Once this is done, I think we've got a pretty good game going. We need to then work out what we're going to do with collectibles because we are here to do uh, certain things. The idea of the game is that Roland is picking up the uh, the presents to save Christmas. But I also want to add in a second uh, objective. You've got to get all of the all of the presents and then find a a uh, lever that will open a cage that uh, allows you to go and collect Santa. And that's the that's the idea for this. So we're going to have presents and we're going to have Santa. And so far, hmm, we don't uh, have that ability. We will get that ability. We'll put that in today. I'm going to try and put that in today. What's he saving Christmas from? The little the little griblies that are run, run, running around. Like there's one flying an aeroplane and then there's two of the big griblies. They're, they're wandering around flapping their feet and wobbling their ears. And they're the things that he's uh, fighting against. They want to stop Christmas because it removes joy from the land. That's the idea. <laughs> Maybe the Easter Bunny should be the final boss. I like that idea. It'd be like a... I was going to have a giant gribbly and just have his eyes move back and forward like that. And he wouldn't actually move on the screen because he'd just take up most of the screen. And Santa would be in a cage just above him. Why do the Gribblies not want Christmas? Because they're gits. That's why. The Gribblies are little gits. And, and they smell. <laughs> right, he's going a little bit slower now. So that's alright. Yeah, that kind of works now. That he's going to 4. Maybe we should drop it down to 2 just to be a bit slower. But yeah, the uh, T's look nice. T's kind of work. Okay, at every point we haven't uh, changed our health, so if we just get a little bit of health damage, 83, 93, there you go. So let's go and pick up this one here, and 99. So now we can't go over 99, which is nice. I should probably take the score bit out so that we can't, uh, we can't just get infinite score, you know? 
but we'll do that in a moment once we've done the next bit so we've got a bit of a, a bit of movement and uh, we seem to be doing okay can't go very far yet there's not a huge map but we're going to work on the map today i wish i could work on uh, sorting out why the hell we still don't drop but we're getting there for the tea maybe a shallower or shorter cup with some wisps of steam yeah we could do that that's a nice idea actually so let's do that editor uh now it looks like a coffee cup hmm How's that? <laughs> that look right? Kind of. Yeah, that kind of works. Ba -ba -ba. doesn't no the the shine the glint doesn't really work yeah that'll work right here we go so we need now it's more tea than coffee now. fair enough <laughs> i was thinking it was the other way around but okay so we've got objects oh we can have objects can we switch what type of object can we have Where, where's my uh thing right let's have a look at objects can i use objects as a thing to pick up Where's objects? Sprites. Objects. Uh, create new object, delete object, change object, start room, set start position in room. What can I do with objects? That's all about sprites. Let's have a look at the text about objects. Let's have a look at what we can do. There is nothing about objects. Does that come up later? Sprite positions, keyboard controls generator well, where's the thing about objects Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. right each defined object requires 36 parameters the first byte is the object's attribute the next byte defines the screen upon which the object appears and the third and fourth define x and y coordinates right so we can't we can't right we we can't use that that's unfortunate we can't use uh objects unless we want to define each one individually actually why don't we why don't we define each object individually we could have loads of different Okay, let's say the first byte is the object's attribute. The next byte defines the screen upon which the object appears, and the third and fourth define the x and y coordinates respectively. Oh, well, y and x coordinates respectively. The following 32 spectrum next time x or 80 CPC bytes define the graphic image of the object and are ordered in an identical fashion. Objects are for special things. Yeah, it appears to be like we could do this as um, a. Uh, uh, this is for making stuff like a dizzy game, something like that. <sighs> so, hmm. So we could just create different objects. Messages can be defined as a series of strings which can be displayed individually using the message end command. Messages must be defined before the events code or an error will result. Okay. Uh, right. Hmm. So we could we could define each object individually. Do we have what what do we have for here we go. Let's have a look at this. Let's see what we've got here for objects. Variables. Here we are. Block, clock, column line, control frame, image, jump speed. Da -da 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 functions right let's have a control f for object and next no nope. i next define object and all of that good barrel 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 barrel
Right, here we are. Hang on. Got. Expects a signal ar argument. The expression is true if a specified object is owned by a player. Right, okay. I think I've missed one, haven't I? Did I miss one? I can't go back with uh, the find button, unfortunately. Okay, so got is how we define... Well, that's going to be very useful. We definitely want got. Because we want to pick up... We want to find, like, a lever that will open a thing on a certain screen. The barrier for... um That blocks your access to Santa. So we'll, we'll work that out. Key expects a signal, single numeric argument in the range of 0 to 6 on condition of true if the key is pressed. Oh, that's for moving. That's not keys as in pick up keys. Detect object. Detects object jump touched by the current sprite and places the results in the object variable. If the sprite is touching more than one object, only the object with the lowest number is detected. Okay. Is a sprite touching an object? Did we detect an object automatically pick it up? Okay. He Excuse me. <clears throat> Here we are. We can have up to 255 objects. Right, okay, so we can do this. We can do this. Detect object. Let's do this. We could, yeah, we can absolutely use objects as our collectibles. We just don't want to show an inventory because we don't need an inventory. Right, let's do this. Let's have a... Again, we can only have... Uh, one set of but whoa look at the look at the amount of space we have to define these objects we can do all kinds here okay what am i doing here no idea but look at the size of this thing we've got we've got a decent possibility right objects let's move this back up to uh the object editor, so we can see what's going on. Right, here we are. Objects. Did it, did it. Yeah, we can only have one uh, color. Not the best, but okay. Change object starting room set starting position in the room. Okay, we... Up and down, change object start room. Let's do this. Let's do this. Where's my button? There it is. I want that. <laughs> Up and down changes the, the room and P sets the position. Okay. Room one. Now, room zero, that's what we want. Position. Where will we put this object? There. Yeah. That's quite big. That's actually surprisingly large. So, you're not going to miss these things, that's for certain. You are absolutely not going to miss that object. <laughs> okay, that works. How do I go back to using the, to edit in the object? Enter to return. Okay, let's go. Let's do. So we've got that. Let's make this a gift. Let's make it a present. Standard looking present. Directly on from the point of view of the viewer. Directly. Oh, for goodness sake. Directly down and across. Ba 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 da 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 da. That just looks like four things. It doesn't really work as a... Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to draw, draw a bow on the top. It's not really working out. Let's see how well I can make this work out. Is that working? That looks like a complete bloody mess. Oh my goodness, how badly have I drawn this bow? Wow, that's bad. That kind of works. Oh, 
How's that? Does that work? I'm not sure this works, but draw that down there. Now it's looking like a top-down frog. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Critic. Mr. Critical. Critical person who criticises with critics. Uh, I don't know why I've gone Welsh like that. It's, 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 it's a bit weird, but, uh, you know, we'll work with it. Oh, yes, we will. We'll work with it. <laughs> that kind of works. Yeah. It'll do. That will do as a starter one. There we go, that kind of works. Right, let's... Whoa, that's really, really obnoxiously coloured. That's... There we go, there we'll... that, will... that will work. Can I invert the colours and see if this will work? Uh, no, I can't. I'll have to do it manually. I cannot change the background colour. That is ridiculous. I... Huh. Right, we'll leave it like that. Uh, yeah, position. Kind of works. We'll leave it like that. Okay. How do I add another one? Because we only need more than one, aren't we? Um, create new object is X. Right, okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do -do -do -do. Now we're going to need a different one. We're going to have a toy rocket. We've got, we need a toy rocket. Because rockets are always good. This looks really, really, really freaking dodgy. But, you know, toy, toy rocket. And a toy train, yes, we will have a toy train. Absolutely, we'll have a toy train. Looks like more of a battery. Not anymore, it don't. There we go. That just looks weird. Okay, I'm going to leave it with uh, little bits like that, that. That works, kind of. There's a there's a rocket. Uh... That doesn't work. There we go. It's got a window in it. Another window there. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Does it need windows? Probably not, but no. There we are. Kind of works. Definitely more rocket-like now. There yeah. There's my rocket. Oh, ho, ho. I've got a rocket. Oh, ho, ho. We are going on it. Never coming back. No, that's too big. Did, did he? Maybe it's for stained glass. On a rocket? A stained glass window on a rocket? We're not in Warhammer 40,000 with their flying space churches. <laughs> there we go. No, that doesn't work there either. Let's do that. Right, it needs to be red. There. A red rocket, which turns orange over there. I don't know why it turns orange over there. But now we need to uh, put this into... Um, from zero, and it will be there. There we go. So, we now need to go to our events. Uh, where would it be? I'm not entirely sure where we would put this. Oh, my goodness. Um, F object, let's go for object again. I have to go around here, define object. No, we don't need to define objects. Do, 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 do. Got. Expects a single argument. No. Uh, 
Find next. Not detect object. Is it? Yes, it is. This is it. Right. So where would we put this? I'm assuming that we put this into... Um, we put this into... I love the fact that you have actual sci-fi fantasy reference for this entirely random and insane suggestion. <laughs> oh man, you should see some of the stuff for Warhammer. It's ridiculous. It's like, let's take a gothic uh, church and put it into space. <laughs> so, detect object. There it is, that's the one we want. It's going to be an event for probably for the player. Let's do this. Uh, if can go down, if deadly and all of this. If... Detect object. If detect object. Steampunk Star Wars. It's kind of... It's weird. It's like Warhammer 40,000 is insane. The, the worlds of humanity are just insanity. Oh yeah, what a 40, 40k is a thing. Right, let's do this. If detect object. We don't want... Well, we do want get object. Uh, and if. Uh, get object. How do we do... We're going to need... Uh, instead of that, we're going to... Go to the, we can't wait for the project to respond. Right, uh, where's our score? We need score again. Oh! This is interesting. Completing the last screen in the game with sequential levels reduced. The only other way in which a game can finish does not perform a completely game event. Mm. They've got three end game. That's a, have we collected the chalice? Yes, player wins. Well, we'll sort that out in a minute. Right, let's get object. Um, where Where's our score? Where's the score again? I've forgotten how to do this. We we just need to sort this out. One second, one second, one second. We need to do this. Particle. Hi, trains kids. How you doing? Oh, come on, come on. Score twenty five. That's it. So we just add score. I knew there was a certain thing. Score. Let's say one hundred. Score one hundred. That's all we need. And then we have to set the specific place for score, adding the score. Okay. And file, save. Yeah, there we go. Right. Try that. Go back to this. Now we need events for uh, collect block. Where, where is it? Uh, at 22, one show score. That's what we wanted. Because I can never remember where it is. So let's go back to events for player. Walk up to 39,000 subs. Well done. Well done. 39,000 subs. Fantastic. Well done. That is great news. In hospital getting fed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that bit. That's not so great news. I hope you get better soon. Because, yeah. Right, let's do this. We need to turn now test. Well, actually, first of all, we need to save the project. Because let's face it. We've done a fair amount. Roland Redux 10. File save again. That's where, that's our storage bit. What tune am I butchering? No tune. I am doing really, really well with tunes. <laughs> Let's build. What did that say? Was that... Ah! Give me my thing with the subs. Uh, not the subs. You know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, no warnings. Excellent. That's great news. What tune am I butchering? Chariots of Fire! Do, 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 One of the first ones I learned to play on the piano. Do, 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 ba, 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 ba. I believe it's used on Daily Thompson's Super Test. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. I've slept, what, nine hours? I had uh, three REM cycles last night. It was great. Got uh, just went straight to bed after uh, after the show last night when I was exhausted. I feel so much better today. So yeah, for those of you who noticed, I was a little bit off yesterday. Um, yeah, I missed a, a couple of days of my medications over the weekend and was struggling quite badly with uh, mental health issues. So that's why I was a little bit off yesterday. So for those of you who saw me on uh, Jen's Monday Club where I snapped at someone over their reference to COVID being a scam, which it, COVID isn't a scam. The, but uh, I shouldn't have snapped quite as bad as I did, so I do apologise for that. But that, that that's why. But I'm back to normal now. Also, <laughs> but guess what? I went to the hospital today for an appointment, which was um, rescheduled. So I'm not meant to be there till next month. Great to know, eh? Yes. Roll and rescue redux. Let's try this. So here are our things. We've got a weird thing. Uh, let's see what this does. 100 points. Immediately 100 points. And it doesn't come back when we go off the screen. 210 points. Oh, because we haven't taken out the thing with the... We still get points for picking up the uh, energy things. So we'll need to take that out. But yeah. Okay, so this is working. This is working. Dude Sound Lopez, thank you so much. Reminds me of the London Olympics. Yes, Chariots of Fire is a, basically an Olympic tune. So we've got our first uh, presents. And we can have 255 of these little blighters. So there we go. I'm now going to have to work out where we put our next indicator because we're going to now need to uh, put down uh, somewhere down here how many we've collected. Let's do that. But it's working and that's great news for us. So how do I... Right, here we go. Uh, print. Let line equals, let column equals, then print. We can do that. Okay. So we can just put that in. Let line equals, let column equals, then print. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that now. Uh, machine, no, events. Uh, game initialization. That lives equals three. Add to display lives. 22 one right so 22 is the last part so let's say um let's say at actually take all of this out at 22 9 print uh do, 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 do. Uh, presence rescued. Let pres equals zero at 22, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Display pres. Thought I'd pop in as I'm actually not busy now. Hi, Retro Mickey, how are you doing? Right, there we go. Prez equals zero, 2218 display prez. Copy that. Display, oh, hang on. Shouldn't that be double digit or something like that? Something that we've done before. Like show double digits or something, it wasn't it? Show score. 
Uh, right, we're going to try and put that into double digits. I think it's called double digits. Oh, where's the thing that we're just doing? There it is, events. Right, display press. So that's save. That's the game initialization. Events, uh, sprite types if I hit something. Uh, display double digits E. Events. Uh, game initialization. Display. Digits. Res. Work gets me tired, so I don't want it. Hey, don't worry about it. Whenever you want to enjoy stuff, that's perfectly fine. That's that's one of the reasons these go up as uh, videos afterward. So there we go. So we've got uh, display double digits pres for presents that we've collected. Now events for when where the player picks up an object. That's what we next need. Right, at 22-1, show score. Add one to pres. And then... Twenty two eighteen. Hi Iron Horse, how you doing? Display press. Let's do that. Save that. And finally, let's do the collect block thing before we forget. Uh, where's the score? We don't want to add to the score. So we take the score out. And we take the score out. File save. Okay. Right, hopefully this is going to work. Uh, tools, uh, check game for faults. No errors found. File, build. No errors, no warnings. Let's hope this works. Right, while that's loading, Ironhorse said, how did the doctor go today? Right, for those of you who weren't here when I mentioned that, I, I turned up uh, on time for my appointment and found that it had been rescheduled for next month. So that was great. <laughs> Apparently the doctor got hurt and uh, it phoned in sick that morning. It had an accident or something, so everything got rescheduled. So I'll, I'll go back to next month. It'll be fine. It'll, it'll be perfectly fine. It was just uh, general stuff, uh, checking on the, the condition of the, the kidneys due to uh, the second tumour that's uh, resting on one of those. Resting? Growing off one of those, I should say. So we'll see how it goes then. But yeah... Yeah, I hope the doctor feels better. So, so do I. I mean, I would not wish an accident on anyone. It's a, it's not a nice thing to have. Uh, so, hopefully they're all right. But, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing news. To be fair, it wasn't too bad. I had a nice walk back from uh, the hospital. Because uh, I walk pretty much everywhere if I can help it. Uh, so, I got some nice exercise out of it. Popped it to CEX on the way home. And picked up a uh, copy of a game that will, was requested on Monday Night Live. Uh, World of Illusion starring Disney's Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. <laughs> Let's go, Pluto! Let's go, Donald! <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. Right. Okay. So far, we haven't broken the game. I'm amazed, but we haven't broken it. So let's see how, how well this goes. Right. Okay, that's not good. We now have gibberish on the screen. So we haven't broken it, but it's not looking right, is it? It's in the right place, though. 574. We have complete gibberish. You found it? Yeah. Right, let's see what number it comes gives us now when we pick that up. 574, it has not changed. Right. But, uh, yeah, we don't get... Uh, there we go. Huh. We have no way of uh, sorting this out. Hmm. I suppose we could put in messages, put it in messages and sort that and produce it that way. There is a thing about messages. Let's have a look. Message. 
Ticker displays a scrolling ticker tape message at the current line and column position. Ticker requires two arguments, the first of which should be a character or block. Okay. That's not what we want. After Mickey's ultimate challenge, I'm making I can't help you there. I've never even heard of that one. Uh, da -da. To turn off the strong tickers, use ticker zero. It's not what I really want. I want. Um, okay. Find. Define messages. Messages can be defined as a series of strings, which can be displayed individually using the message n command. Right. Okay. Messages must be defined before the events code or an error will result. So we could do it that way. Define messages. So, oh, surely there's a better way than this. Intro menu. How do we do that there? Add four six print. So there shouldn't be any pr print mode zero. Add... Right. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to take the, the same thing we've got there. Machine. No, not machine. Events. Uh, game initialization. Each time the error play thing hits the wall and turns around, can we make it say bink? <laughs> right, here we go. Right, let's do this. Control V. So we got here. That's all we need. 22.9. Print. So. Print. 22.9. Print. Gifts. Gifts. Zero. I'm going to take this out. As I recommend Mickey no Tokyo Disneyland on Super Favicom. It was a Japan exclusive, but players like the Mega Drive games. Cool. Mickey in uh, Tokyo Disney World Land. Okay. Interesting. Right. Print mode zero. A 22.9. Print gift zero. File. Save. There's got to be a way of defining... <sighs> Hasn't there? Let let P equals zero. At I'm going to take all of this out again. At uh, twenty two. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so 22, 15, display, P. Actually, no, if we're going, just let gifts equal zero, display, gifts. There is no reason why this shouldn't work, as far as I can tell. Gifts equals zero, let lives equals three, display, gifts. Events, uh, do, 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 where's the player? Detect object, add one to gifts, 2215, display, gifts, file, save, file, save project as Roland. Save. Yes. File. Build. Hopefully this is going to work. No warnings, no errors. We have a we have an issue here. It, basically, I need a counter. I need to have a counter for the gifts. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some weirdness about counting the amount of points that we've been given. <laughs> like, if, uh, if score equals 10,000 then you have picked up all of the presents, that kind of thing. Which is a possibility, but I don't want to have to go down that route because it really would be nice if we could just create a variable and have it work. I don't see why presents didn't display properly, though. Let's see how it goes. If it's just, say, like print mode zero that, and that's all we needed, then that's fine, we can work that out. But we'll have to wait and see.
I don't know why Pink Panther's theme tune has been in my head all day. It's kind of annoying. I really can't fit these lines to the certain musical style that it wants, but we'll try. Gifts 166. Well, gifts isn't done correctly, but the 166 for gifts is not right. No score added. 576. It does not like this. Okay, why... I don't get it. I don't get it. I I really don't. Why? Five hundred. Why? 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 It changed to 576. It then didn't change when we picked up the second one. I don't get it. I always wanted to ride in the car. The Pink Panther comes out of the intro. Oh, that the kid had. Yeah, that was a cool one. How gutted would you be if this gets a strike because your Pink Panthering was too good? I wouldn't be gutted because it would just be a copyright match rather than a copyright strike. Copyright matches don't matter. Uh, in terms of uh, your channel's health. Because we get a copyright match every single week on the Final Fantasy ones for all of the soundtrack. Which I, I'm i fine with. So if you ever see... Uh, if you ever see the um, adverts rolling on my Final Fantasy uh, videos for the Let's Plays, it's not because I've put it there, because I can't. I'm not monetized. It's because you, uh, YouTube's uh, has a content match on it, and the uh, person that owns it, the company that owns it, Square Enix, has decided to uh, run an advert. I have no problem with that because uh, it's their stuff. They can uh, put a match on and uh, get some cash if they want. No skin off my chin, as they say. My problem at the moment is that I can't work out why this is saying we've got 576 gifts when we picked up two. So, let's see if we can find uh, variables. Player control. Setting the control variable on these will select the required control method. Okay. Which means you can't get das cash. I can't at the moment, no. All variables hold 8 bit values. So... Ah! Right. Here's our problem A, B, C, D, E, F, G. General purpose variables. These can be used in any way. We can't create a long one. Right. So if I just put in like G. I wonder if that's all we need. We ne we just need G. Events. Game initialization. Let G equals zero. So we can't have anything... Display double digits G at 22.9. No, at 22.15. I think we've got it. G equals zero. Hopefully this is going to work. Player... Uh, where's the thing about that uh, display? Add one to G. I think this is going to work. I really hope it's going to work. Right. Build. Right, we're going to have to go through the loading again. But... If this just comes down to the fact that I tried to have a longer named variable than it will allow, then that's fine. 
we can work with that. <laughs> we can definitely work with that. The cup rate match means you can't get dusk harsh. Yes, unfortunately. Let's hope this works. Let's hope this works. Oh yes, I think it will work. Or at least let's hope. That it does. Right, let's do this. Gift zero. Gifts one. Gifts two. It's just because we had a long name. Long a long named variable. Well you yeah. Bugger my goodness. Ha <laughs> ha! There we are! Guys, we've got every single thing we need now for a working game. We are on the road to this working out. Huh. Well, there we go. <laughs> we can do this! We've got a working game! I mean, all I required was me to not mess about. So, we can have 99 uh, objects to pick up in our game, because that's how long our score can be for gifts. And, and let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. I'm considering being cruel, and every time you have to pick up an energy thing, reducing your potential overall score. But I'm not sure I want to go that far, because that would be a bit cruel. Congratulations. Why, thank you. So, we've got our dudes, and the animations are working. The, the ears are wobbling, the feet are wobbling, the propeller's moving. Is it a pixel-perfect game? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> the propeller's working on the dude. He is still going a bit fast, but uh, we can reduce that. Let's, In fact, let's do that now before we move on. Sprite type 3. Subtract 2 from X. And add 2 to x. <sighs> File. Save. Right, he'll be slower now, which means uh, we've got a better potential for this. Okay. <coughs> right. Now all we need to do is add in extra... So we're not going to... For the rest of this thing, we're going to now uh, work on some screens. Let's work on some screens. How do I add an extra screen? At the moment, I remove the the manual. I need to look at it again. Here we are, screens. Previous screen, next screen. Create a new screen is X. Actually, Let's have a look at this. Look at how they've done that. That is really nice, the way they've done that, with hardly any different colours. Can we have multiple difficulty settings, or would that require essentially another build? Um, I'm not entirely sure if we can or not. Uh, it might be something we can try at some point. But look at what we've got here in the background. Using all of these different uh, designs, they've got different stuff going in the background we we have a blank background for the most part with little bits like this i'm wondering should we oh let's edit some blocks let's go for this standard blank block and let's have a big bit there 
small amount there, and a big bit there, and a small amount there. As our standard background. And then for this, take that out. Because if we could, you could have health pickups reduce score. Except, yeah, that would be fun if we could do it that way. Let's have, instead of... Uh, let's have it like a, a lighter blue if we can. Yeah. So we'll go back to this one. And uh, M to copy, I think. And K to paste. Yes, it is. So then we can paint color it different colors I like this idea right let's have a look at how this works on our screens oh my goodness that is so loud <laughs> that's oh well it's certainly brighter isn't it it's certainly given us more to see in the background it looks does that look better or worse? I'm not entirely convinced it's the best, but uh, let's go to blocks again uh, for this one. Let's go to a different colour. So I mean, that won't be so eye-gougingly horrible. Editor, go back to screens. Okay, I kind of like that. The blue bricks are a bit distracting. Yes, they are. This I'm liking, though. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Brown bricks work. Yes. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Let's go back to the blocks. So for this one, I'm not sure about keeping the blue bricks, but maybe the brown ones did work. And occasionally a lighter colour, just for basically shits and giggles, basically. Let's go for brown. There's the brown. Then a lighter one every now and again. Uh, screens. Just have different colours of bricks every now and again. I just like the idea of having different colours here and there. We are, however, going to have to change some of them. Because now we've got uh, a problem. That these ones here are essentially a wall, and we can't define that. Save the project. It doesn't, it's not as uh, visually clear. So what we're going to do is build the game to see what happens when we come to the proper spectrum colours. <laughs> Brown is nice. Give me down Mario Pipe vibes. I, I just want it to not be a standard Spectrum game with a black background. Because we're not in space. <laughs> Let's see what happens once we get into the game itself. And whether those uh, wall... Yeah, they look too much like the environment. We're going to have to do something about that. Um, There are ways we're around it. We can sort this out. It's not an issue. But uh, we'll see what happens. If they stand out when we're playing the game, then that's great. If they don't, we're going to have to redo them. Maybe it's like a pipe or something like that. Which could work quite nicely. What's the beverage of choice today? It is uh, diet. Oh, hokey, cokey, cokey. Oh, hokey, cokey, cokey. Oh, Hooky cooky cooky in out in out ra 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 make the other bricks red if possible that's what I'm hoping they'll be but we'll have to wait and see if it doesn't work we can make them as pipes or, or tubes or scaffolding or something we'll work it we'll work it out but I like the idea of a, of the background being coloured rather than just blank. Your beverage of choice, empty Pepsi Max bottles. You're drinking the... Are you liquidating the bottles and drinking them? What are, you, what are you doing with your life? Don't drink empty plastic bottles. That's just weird. Okay, this is horrible. 
<laughs> okay, I can't see a freaking thing. That's not good. Oh dear, this is not good at all. Oh my goodness, yeah, this looks like crap. So, the red jumps out, but it looks the same as the environment red. This is... Oh my goodness, this is so horrible. And then... Now I realise why Spectrum games have black backgrounds, because I can't see the bloody guy. He's here. That's where he is. That's where our guy is. But, oh my goodness. Right, no, this is just... This is horrible. This is horrible. Okay, we're not having that. Edit blocks. Uh, this one... No. No, we're not, we're not having that. That, that. that was so bad. Oh my goodness. Right. This one, however, I like, and I'm wondering if we can... Spectrum Games equals Colour Clash, yeah, this is... Mm, let's take this out. Let's take that out entirely. Just as uh, I don't know, let's... Uh, what can we do as an... Just as an empty block that doesn't have anything to do with anything. What can we put up here? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to work out what we could put up that would be funny to have. Like a picture frame or something. Just just on the wall. <laughs> just as a picture frame. <laughs> oh, we can't. We've got bugger all space. There we are. We've got a picture of a hat. Every now and again, there'll be on the screen a picture of a hat. Uh, screens. Now it looks just insanity. That's just... Why did we do that? Why? No. Go back. This has got to be... Um... Yeah. Do, 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 do. We need it to be white, yes? Because it's... I don't know. Let's do get this back to white. There we are. So we need it to be like a cloud, basically. There we are, cloud. Ba <laughs> That looks kind of crap. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that for the moment. Draw a vertical line at the far edge, miss two rows, then do a T-shape. A vertical line at the far edge, miss two rows, then do a T-shape. Vertical line. One, two. Hi, Lex, how you doing? I'm not sure what you mean for this, Lex. I don't know what that's for, but okay. It's screens. Let's go back to screens. Now we've got dots everywhere. It kind of works as a background. I just because I I just remember that we've got this where we need the bubbles coming off. So maybe they should be red. Maybe the should be red bubbles. Hmm. I'm going to switch what's in this thing as well. We don't need so many of these to be energy things. Leave it like that. Right. So now we've got this. Well, that's certainly interesting, what what we've added there, uh, Iron Horse. Yeah, I can see what you're on about with that. Okay, let's leave it like that for the moment. So we've got some stuff coming in. We've got dots, bubbles coming off. I think they need to be darker. I need. I really think these blocks need to be darker. So let's see what we can do. We've got a. We've got a dark red. Is it possible to do dark red? There's that, but I don't really want that 
color because it's the same as the other colors. What if we do it as... What if we do it as pink? Why is he pink as well? He should be like that. Uh, screens. Yeah, that kind of works. We've got bubbles coming up. That could work. That could work. And then we've got these dots all over the place, which maybe we can take out because we don't need them. And it's starting to make it look messy with some of them. Take some of these out. Like that. That kind of works. Right, let's leave it like that for the moment. Okay, so we need a new screen, basically. Screens. Uh, how do we add in an extra screen? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, create new screen is X. Okay. Right, where are we up to? Oh, not that one. That. So, create new screen with X. Let's have a look. Where, where are we on our map? Let's have a look at our map. So, we go to screen one, and we've got nothing on the other side of it. Let's go back to screens. So, we're adding in some more screens. This is screen one. No, not screen four. Screen one. All we've got on the bottom is the, the base, so we can do whatever we want for this screen. Let's do this. What we want is a complete block. We can't go up or down from this room. This will block us uh, block us in. There is no way out of here. At all. There is no way out. Du -du 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 this is a horrible room full of grot and horrible things. To fill the whole thing in. Why are we doing this? Because this is where the bad guy will be. Whoa. This will be like the big baddie. Whoa, rawr. We don't like the big baddie. No, we don't. We don't like the big baddie. The big baddie is here, and they're going to go rah and rrr, and ooh and <laughs> and they're the funny noises that uh, I make up as I go along. So they've also got uh, a big panel in front of them. The big baddie, the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Oh, we did... Yeah, it was going to be that, wasn't it? Let's take some of this out, then. That's not going to... Give, get away some of this. Get some of this away. And let's try and make a, an Easter Bunny head. It'll be hilarious. Right, here we go. Here we are. Right. Actually, can I not... No, you can't delete with that. So let's just try and... Scroll this off a little bit like that. Right, let's try and now put some. Uh... There's the outline. There's the Easter Bunny's outline. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got the Easter Bunny behind a giant screen. Maybe that's their control panel. The Easter Bunny, is it? The evil bunny. Yes, the evil Easter Bunny. Oh my goodness, how evil is this bunny? Nope, that doesn't look right. We'll put that there. We'll have a piece of cake. And a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. So there we are. We've got some things now. We need. We need some. Um, 
Need some sprites. We need a bad guy sprite who's gonna gonna be there. And a vertical dude is gonna be here. And another vertical dude is gonna be here. There's gonna be a present in here, but we haven't done that yet. So there we go. There's a lot of bad guys in here. <laughs> Oh, what are we doing with our lives? Right, that's the sprite positions now. Okay, this sprite is uh, type 1. The sprite's T for type. He's type 2. This sprite here... Oh, for goodness sake, go back to where you were! Oh my goodness! Sprite type 1, type 2. This sprite is type 2. This sprite is type 3. Yes! There we go. Okay. We need a player respawn position. When player respawn will be here. Can I get him further back? Can I get him further back? Yes. There we go. So he's the player spree respawn. Yes, yes. Big news gremlins. Will the Easter Bunny fire missiles in a predictable pattern? The Easter Bunny will not be doing anything except guarding the final present. And you're going to have to be very hard very hard pressed to get the final present. Because here's another guy. Ha <laughs> ha! This guy. He's a bit cruel. Spike type two. Okay. We're now gonna go back to objects. going to copy this object, mirror, create a new one for object 3. Paste it. The evil playboy bunny. <laughs> Green. Uh, object 2. And it will start in room 5. Position. There. Hi Max, how you doing? So we've got their position there. That's nice. Let's go to the editor for the map. And there we go. Five. Oh. So. Hi, Diego. How you doing? Hello again. Downloaded it, but not very fluent in that specific programming language anyways learn it by myself thanks for the recommendation you're welcome have, i hope you do well with it so we've got a few extra things save the project and save it as roland save yes events now we're going to go to the intro menu because we haven't changed an awful lot with this i kind of don't like the the yellow on black so how do we change the, the font colors f Color down. This is uh, this is for sprite positions. Yeah. Oh, f up and down changes sprite ink color for MSX. That's interesting. Create an emulator file back on color black. No, that's not what I want. Can I not change the? I know we can because we've done it. Oh, it's ink and paper, isn't it? That, 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 oh, the variables are different. It's ink and paper, isn't it? Controller ink. Right, here we go. Clear. Right. Sets the color lookup table for permanent display attributes. Okay. So we can try... Yeah, we can change the ink colors. Right, let's do this. Okay. Uh, right. Print word one. Let's go for ink four. Ink one. And see how that goes. So that our title is in a different color to the controls. File, save project. Roll and save it. And yes, let's build the game. And let's see what we've got and how it's worked. 
No errors, no warnings. We're doing okay so far. We haven't done a huge amount, but we've done okay so far. Actually, no, tell that we have done a lot. This has been a very, uh, a very important episode because we have now got the ability to uh, tally the amount of gifts that Roland has collected in order to save Christmas, which is what the point of this game is. So, we've got that. We can then use that to determine when the game ends, which is, uh, we'll add that in as a win condition in a minute, so that we can uh, work this out. We're going to say let's uh, pick up all three gifts that we put in so far and then jump to the win condition. That's, that's useful. <coughs> we'll then see how we get on with the rest, because uh, what we actually got here is that we can now put in different things in any position we want uh we've got different gifts we can have different colors we can have different shapes we can have all kinds and it won't affect the sprites we've got which are fairly limited we haven't got a huge amount of uh, options for sprites uh, probably because of the amount of memory constraints on the animations that go with the sprites each one has four different frames so that's essentially uh, eight sprites with four things that's 32 sprites it's a lot of memory so that's not too bad and then we've got the player on top of that and uh, plus all of the background blocks that we've got the collectibles for energy it all adds up so uh, adding in this extra thing with the option of uh, objects that's really useful for us we have different colors different colors we could do all kinds go for it right here we are okay this looks ridiculous with uh a blue character but we'll see how we go got our first gift oh i've just realized something let me just uh, ac accidentally on purpose kill roland here i just drop down it no, let's go and see the the bunny let's go and see the the bunny because we had, that's the other thing we wanted to do roland must die it's in the rules he has to die there's the easter bunny all of our stuff there so we just stand him there that looks pretty damn cool actually there's a lot going on there right he's the first uh, of his uh, lives is gone <coughs> there we are so this game manages some very weird color limitations yes it does so because we didn't change the font uh, it's not not the font the ink color uh here we've got the the blue color and that sets what color we are so if we go in it that we're blue that is interesting so we can set whatever color we want for our guy close this down let's go back into events intro menu okay there we are and uh Right. Here we go. Your blue da ba be ba ba ba. Exactly. So ink one. Okay, let's do this. Gonna copy that. Ink two. Draw V to get that good set. Just got my latest audible credit one a month got to decide what to get with it oh i have the same option coming up at the end of this month that would be nice uh ink three uh let's drop that in ink four uh i think we did ink five for the top no inks ink four was the top so that uh ink five that'll be there then uh ink Four again at sixteen two print coded live on YouTube by at seventeen. That's what is that, Zoe Kirk Robinson. 
how far in do I need that to be to be let's say six seven so six seven eight nine print so that's now there we go so that's ink four again let's say let's just leave that i just fancy having that in there as an extra thing so we got that there now we're going to define events um initialize sprite i don't know what this does but i think that if we do this ink six and just that but initialize sprite I wonder. Actually, no, this. Game initialization. Let's put it here. Um, ink 6. Just see how it goes. File, save. And see what happens. And then remove from initialized sprite this bit. And save that. So if we initialize the game with certain colors, that should be very interesting. File, save project, save. Yes. Initialize send flow, initialize Fanta. We're going to build this. No warnings, no errors. So we're, we're doing okay. We're within the rules of the of the software. Let's see what happens. Because I think we just uh, put a load of colors on the front screen. And we may have the ability to uh, get this game going quite interesting. Although I have no idea what Ink 6 will be. It could, it could end up that we've accidentally made our main character black on a black background so we never see him. <laughs> In which case we'll have to pick a different ink colour or change the paper. But we'll see what happens because um, I think we've got a, an interesting option. Patrick says he took advantage on the Audible three ninety nine for a few months off it. So did I. <laughs> I got the complete Sherlock Holmes as, uh, as narrated... Uh, in an unedited, uh, uncondensed version, as narrated by Stephen Fry. And my goodness, he is perfect for that role of narrating Sherlock Holmes. So I got that, and that is amazing. And then a few Neil Stevenson uh, ones. Uh, I already had uh, Reem D. I picked up another one that I can't remember what its name was. And next, I'll see what I can pick up from as a final one for the three months thing. Uh, I might get the digital audiobook version of uh, Shadows of the Empire to go with the cassettes that I've got down here. So that'll be fun. And then I won't have to try and digitize the cassettes. That'll be nice. And we'll see how that goes. But that's my plan anyway. But uh, oof, the Sherlock Holmes one by Stephen Fry. It's so good. So good. Right, guys, we're going to see how this goes. My goodness, we've been going for an hour and a half. Tonight does not feel like it's been an hour and a half. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. That's starting to look interesting. I'm going to have to move the uh, thing across a little bit because it's just uh, not in the best way. But uh, let's see how this goes. Keyboard. We are blue. I can't read. I can't read the text. So we can, we've picked yellow. I've absolutely picked I've picked the wrong one. But yeah, that looked interesting. Okay, let's do this. Um right. <laughs> okay. And editor here. Oh, we've got the palette here. There we go. Right, okay. Um hmm. Right. So that'll be zero. One, two, three, four, five, six is yellow. There we go. So what we wanted really was like zero. So let's go to that. Event initialize uh no. Game initialization, right. Ink, zero. There we go. Ink, one. There we are. That should work. Ink, zero for all of the stuff. Save. Ink, one. Let's see how that goes. Try that. Uh, save project. Just uh, hope that works. And file, build. We'll try it again. And... Actually, no. Com completely stop that. Events, uh, intro menu. We haven't done this bit yet. Uh, go back down to here. Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, six. That should be like four. Which means uh, we take off two from here. Seven. Save. At. 
eight nineteen seven print www.gamehammer.co.uk let's just advertise the website <laughs> Let's leave that there like that. Save. File. Save project. Save. Replace, yes. And build. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> if that works out nicely, I'll be happy. Bam ba 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 So once this is done we'll set up we've got two other things I really want to do tonight we've got the an extra screen that was the word I was gonna, we've got an extra screen in which is nice but the main thing i want to put in is um the endings so i want an ending on an end sequence where we go oh no roland got uh, stomped by griblies or something like that uh, and, it, and now all the now christmas is ruined press a key to try again that kind of thing <laughs> and uh, a game winning sequence, which we'll have to test out by only having three uh, gifts to pick up. And it'll be, hooray, Roland has rescued all the presents. Uh, and and Christmas has been saved from the evil Griblies who hate Christmas and fun. And also they smell, that kind of thing. Just as a bit of fun, you know. And then we'll have basically the basis of the game. And we can spend the rest of our time putting in objects, putting in uh, fiendish uh, screens full of horrible things and stuff like that. Okay, that looks obnoxious, but I like it. And let's go in. Gift zero. Energy is three. Sorry, lives three. I'm not sure why that's in green. We're going to find out in a second why it's in green. And whether it changes it does <laughs> it does change okay that's interesting once we've got so they oh look at that the moment we've the moment we've picked up a uh a thing the the screen the there we go so we're, what we should be doing <laughs> that's interesting we can't get back Ooh. oh that's not good once we're through here, we can't get back through. There's a, an interesting change. We've got problems. We're going to have to sort those out. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll sort that out. We could have everything changed. Right. We'll, we'll sort that out. We, ne we need to sort out about all of the stuff on the bottom of the screen. Events. So, game initialization. Ink is zero. Show score. Copy that. There we are. So ink is zero. Display lives. All of the, all of those. Right, save. All of that will now display in the correct way. And then it goes to ink one. File, save for events. Every time something changes, though, events player. Uh, where's the bit about us uh, getting hurt? Uh, display double digits G. Ink should be zero. Display double digits E. Here, ink should be zero. Every time we have uh, something printing, we've got to have we've got to set the inks because we have changed the inks now, which is not the best way of doing things. But you know these things happen. There we are. If collision with player, ink zero, so that we don't sort problems and so cause problems. We'll do that with all the sprite types that we've got. We are ink zero. I'll save. Editor event sprite type three. We've only got three different sprites, so it doesn't take too long. That looks obnoxious, but I like it. T-shirt slogan. <laughs> I do like that idea. Save that there. Right, where's the other one? Events uh, collect block. 
I tend to E and then display, ink zero, so that everything on the bottom stays black. And then it contrasts nicely with the background. Did we do that with uh, picking up objects? Ink zero, yes we did. Ink zero, yes we did. Okay, so we're okay now. That's okay. Right. Um, hmm. What was the other thing we were doing? Oh, yes. Events. Um, kill player. Here we are. No. Events. Lost game. Here we are. Event lost game. So how do we sort this out with the... Where's, where's the intro menu? Here we are. Right. Right. Event intro menu. That control equals all of this. I'm going to grab all of that just to copy it. Let's see. End while. Right. There we go. Right. Let control equals while control equals 99. Uh, we'll work that out in a moment. Uh, events lost game. Here we go. Event lost game. Right. Now I need f here. Wait. Define key. Wait for a key press. Memory defines a specific key. That's not what we want. But we do need a wait. Delay. Okay. Wait for three seconds. That's not what we want either. Redraw. No. Wait key. That's in interesting. Wait key. What's wait key? Okay. Close. Ticket now. Well, let's go down to wait key. Wait key. Wait for a key, key press. Print. Press a key. Wait key. That's that's what we need. That's what we need, guys. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, CLS ink for print mode one four six. We'll type. Uh, oh no. And that should actually be probably be for ten, and then uh, ink one print. Roland has been uh, trampled by the remember call ampersand BB one A and North. That that yes, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I the uh. Nine, one, evil grib, these who hate Christmas. And I've ten, one, and who also smell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Uh, we'll leave a... Now Christmas is ruined and all... 12-1, The little kiddies won't get... The fourteen one. The gifts Santa was going to give them. At uh, let's say seventeen. Print mode. One at seventeen ten game over. I'm not sure print mod we is the right print mode. Print mode zero at 1910 print press any key 
Mencialis at the end. Wait key. That's all we need. Wait key. Okay. Wait key. File. Save. If this works, this will be amazing. I don't know if it will. Don't know if this will work because uh, this is the first time we've put this in, but we're going to put that in. Roland APJ, save. Yes, and we're going to now build because I don't want to do the second one for errors one. So we've got an error. I don't know what the error is, but we've definitely got an error. There's something wrong. Something definitely wrong with it. Okay, we'll see what happens. <coughs> 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 We've screwed something up, basically. Uh, we've got an error. Error Errors one. Let's have a look. Uh, label not found XXXXXXX. I don't remember putting a label in, but okay. Let's see what happens. We'll work that one out in a minute. Uh, how do we reset as well? Um, control F, reset. Reset the burners. No, that's not what I want. No, but we don't have to. the game there it is maybe your next game could be called meta and the character has to collect errors and warnings on different levels with the goal of making the game work that would be hilarious i just wanted to see if this works i'd be so happy if it does i'd also be so happy if this thing could load in the background while i'm looking at them at the uh thingamajig the manual but no you have to have focus on it otherwise it doesn't load the game all right here we go keyboard all right everything's working so far which is not a high bar to pass, but you know. Right, we've got a first gift. Our person is dying horribly. Let's go and uh, fall down here. We've got to work out why that doesn't work as well. There we go. Bing! Bong! 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 Bong. Oh no, Roland has been trampled by the evil Gribblies who hate Christmas and also smell. Now Christmas is ruined and all... <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I, I don't collect a scone. I wasn't collecting anything uh, so that we could get the game over screen. So, we kind of get an idea that that's not exactly how I need it. Because <laughs> that is... Yeah, there's some wrapping issues. That's pretty much it. And then we get this uh, bunch of gibberish here. Which we need to sort out. So I'm going to take a quick picture of that so I know what's going on. Wow, my phone doesn't want to take pictures today. Okay. Let's... Right. Bring that up so I've got an idea of that on the screen. No, seriously, give me the picture that I've just taken. Thank you very much. Right. I like to have rap issues in a Christmas ha! <laughs> Nice, I like that. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at it. where's our editor for the palette. Red is a nice background. So if I did ink zero, sorry, paper zero one two, paper two, and then zero one two three four five six seven for the text, that could be interesting. Uh, lost game. Okay. Paper, two, ink, four, print word one, and let's put that. Uh, let's put that at sixteen for oh no. Ink seven. At eight point one, Roland has been trampled by the the evil Griblies who hate.
Christmas and also smell. Now Christmas is ruined and all Now Christmas is ruined and the little kissies won't get. Ah! And the little kitties won't get. Santa's gifts. Santa's presents. There we are. game over. Why did that have such weird stuff on the end of it? I don't get that. Uh, yeah. Print mode 1. Maybe we should just leave it without changing the print mode. Oh, I see why. Print mode 1. Because I put it in as uh, different things. I, said, I actually told it to print mode. Which is why it had all that weird text afterward. That's fine. We can change the stuff now. Right. Let's put in a different colour. Ink. Uh, yellow. So six. Ink six. Print mode one. Game over. Print mode zero. Ink. Seven. Press any key. Wait key. CLS. File. Save. Copy all of that. Events. Completed game. So event completed game. Let's take out the event lost game because I copied that O over there. I don't need any of this bit with the wet let and the wait. So let's say what what would the event oh for goodness sake. Wait for program to respond. Leave this as it is. File, save. That's for completed game. Editor, let's have a look at the palette again. And events, completed game. So let's have... Uh, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we want fifteen now. Paper 15. And since we've got a light yellow, let's go for 0, 1, 2, 3, purple, ink 3. Well done. Let's go and take that down to 12. And ink 0 this time. Roland has. Rescued all the gifts from the evil Griblies and saved Christmas. Let's take that uh, saved. He can now have a well-deserved rest. <laughs> there we go. Take all of the bit about Game Over out. And the, the print mode bit as well. Ink, let's say, uh, 2, press any key. File, save. So that should work. Machine, uh, no, events. Now we need to... Uh, player. We'll need, to, we'll need to check in the player thing for on the objects. Right. Uh... End game. How do we end the game? Uh, win? 
match for word only find cancel okay uh hmm hmm guys we i don't know how to win the game i don't know i don't know what the code is for winning the game events uh completed game okay so comp what the no don't save Control F. What the? Completed. Ah. Right, here we are. End game. End game. Ends the game in victory. This performs the completed game event. So we just have uh, end game. Okay. Events player. If G equals three end game end if that is uh, end game yeah okay right file save so we've got to pick up all three now but this will if this works then that's brilliant we've we've got a a, a working game save this again roll and save yes and just to make sure, save uh, in the Roland Rescue Redux special folder to make sure we've got a backup. Save that as well. Right, build. 52 errors. <laughs> Label not found in all of these things. Okay, that's not good. So, file, save project in here just in case. I can't have introduced 52 new errors just by doing that, surely. Build. One error. Label not found. <laughs> Impressive error collection, yeah. <coughs> we've still got an error that we don't need. <laughs> uh, we've, got, we've got a weird error. Now, we'll work that out. We'll work that out uh, eventually. But for the moment, we're doing okay. And I'm not sure what it is, because it's like label not recognized or not defined, I think. I don't... I don't understand that where, where that came from. Uh, label not found xxx xxxx. I don't remember putting in a label called that. I know that you don't need. What errors do you need? Yes, you know what. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> You're like my lord and lord teacher when I was a uh, when I was uh, at the OU. Uh, my tutor. Like, You've got to be very careful on what you say because people will pull you off on it. They, yes, yes, they will. <laughs> there are lots of labels at Christmas ending in X. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. That's. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, we have some fun on this channel, don't we? <laughs> Okay, let's hope this works. Um... <coughs> so we've got to test two things. We're going to test the win condition first, because it's easier just to pick up three objects than to try and get Roland killed. And we'll see how this gets. Punhauer on Retro Gaming Coding Net. That is true. Punna. I was trying to think of the Funhouse music. Funhouse. <laughs> and all that. Right, let's go in. Oh, sound. Uh, let's go in yes so here we are we're going to try and pick up all three gifts and trigger the end of the game gift one and then we'll oh my goodness it's yeah we're gonna to have to work out what's going wrong here gift two we have to now get out of here this is hard roland roland he loves picking up cake he does, it's true. He loves it. Uh, whoop, da, 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 da. Three gifts. Well done. Roland has rescued all the gifts from the evil Gribblies and saved Christmas. He can now have a well-deserved rest. Why does the spent tea turn blue? I don't know. Press any key. There we go. So we got that. And that's kind of not laid out right. But it works. We've got the, the win condition is working. And that's the best part. We know that it's going to work now. So we have got the basis of our game. Take a picture of that so that I can check on that in a moment. Now we're back to the thing. Roland Rescue Redux. Right, this is the death one. We're going to now try and 
uh, die horribly, which just basically means just falling in here. Can we get into here? Come on. It's fallen! Right, and we'll watch Roland burn to death. <laughs> well deserved rest with well deserved snooze. Yes, we can change that. That's no problem. Here we go. Into there, and now he's in the lava. Oh no! Roland has been trampled by the evil Griblies who hate Christmas and also smell. Now Christmas is ruined and the little kitties won't get Santa's president. Presidents? Presents. Game over! Press any key. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. This looks pretty damn good. It's not red. I don't know why it's not red. This is a bit weird, but uh, yeah, I'll go with it. But we can read it and that's what counts. So there we go. Good job I'm not in Scotland. I could be arrested for calling miserable old grouch by the old title under new proposed ageism laws. What? Scot what the hell is wrong with Scotland? Scotland's gone in insane. Whoa, that's interesting. Roll and rescue redux. Who was Sansa's president? That sounds like a low-budget US comedy film. I kind of like the colour scheme here with the orange background. Let's change that. Okay, here we go. So, events. Player. I don't remember putting an XXXXX in anywhere. I don't see it. Yeah. Hmm. Where did we put this? Did we end? We didn't. We haven't got an XXX. I don't get it. Right, events. Anyway. Um, intro menu. Let's, let's actually set this, uh... Background. Um, paper. Paper zero. So it's black in the background. That would be nice. File. Save. Now, events. Let's go and do the uh, lost game. So let's have a look at m what I've got on, on my photograph. So I could check it. Please load up phone. Here we go. Right. Here we are. This is going to work. I'm going to make sure. Right. Here we are. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. Uh, right. So we need to put, oh no, much further across. So let's say uh, 410, which will put it about the same point as game over, which kind of works. Uh, no, let's uh, say uh, 412. Let's put it there. Let's see how that works. Hooray, Christmas and also smell. Now Christmas is ruined and the... Santa's presence. Game over. And then instead of uh, 19, that should be 20. And let's put this further back. Let's say 8. And that should work that out. Save. Close that. Events. Uh, completed game. Where's that? Right. Well done. Needs to be further over as well. So let's put that at 10. Which will put it slightly in the middle. Yes. Uh, right, that should be 11, 12, well deserved rest, press any key, and let's put that at uh, 8, that should work. Uh, going to be well deserved snooze, wasn't it? Snooze, there we go, file, save. Hi Captain Dowd, how you doing? Save that, okay, this works. File, save project, Roland, save, yes. Um, editor, let's have a look at the screens. Right, oh, we have got stuff in the wrong place. Yeah, let's remove that block. And that block, because we don't need it there. And that block there, and that block there. I don't know why they're there. We kind of messed up there, didn't we? Right, here we go. This kind of works. Okay, file, save the project. We're going to save it as our backup first. On Redux 10, save. Want to replace it? Yes. File, save project to um, multi platform arcade game developer. Save there. And finally, build. We still have that one error, which is weird. But. It looks like this is working. And if it is, that's great. So we're at 10 o'clock. I'm going to quickly check the game. And then we're going to uh, save it as a snapshot.
In fact, I'm going to do that first. Hi, Flyma Chairman. How are you doing? Just passing. Hello. We're going to, I'm going to save this. If this works, then I'm going to save it. And we've got a, essentially a, de a playable demo of the game, which would be nice. So, so I'll save it as a snapshot. And then I'll make that available on the website and um, on the Game Hammer Facebook glo gloop. The Facebook gloop. <laughs> <laughs> the Facebook group, and it'll be playable on everything as uh, as usual. I, I did actually play it on a browser-based Zedek Spectrum uh, emulator one time, which is cool. So we'll see how this goes anyway. I don't know why I'm making all these do-do-do noises, but we are. And uh, next, because we've because we've done all the work here, next time we get to add in all kinds of objects for the presents that we get to pick them up, and we'll increase the number of uh, gifts you need to collect and all of that. And uh, the final uh, thing to do then will be to uh, add in extra screens and make the game as cool as possible. Oh, look at that! Oh. Black background, green text, and weird stuff. Yes. File. Save a snapshot. Save as a snapshot. We'll put it onto the... Here. Roland Rescue. Redux. Demo. There we go. So I've saved that. Let's play the damn game and see how it goes. do 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 Okay, we need to sort out the fact that uh, we now can't see the... We haven't set the, the background on the right correctly for the thing. Right. We now have two of the three objects. We can now go back around here and... Da -da -da -da. This will work once we've uh, sorted... I'll, I'll have to do one more build then. Well done. Roland has rescued all the gifts from the evil Gribblies and saved Christmas. He can now have a well-deserved snooze. Press any key. <laughs> so let's check out uh, the uh, end, the 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 end uh, thing to make sure that the lose thing works. Drop down. There we go. We can't see how long it's going to take for this. We have to just uh, take the game's word that it's counting down. So that's not brilliant, but uh, we'll sort that out in a minute because we've got to set the paper colour to the game itself. Oh no, Roland has been trampled by the evil Gribblies who hate Christmas and also smell. Now Christmas is ruined and the little kiddies won't get Santa's presents. Game over. Press any key. So we need to sort that out. Before we go, we need to sort that out. Events. No. Editor palette. Events. Game initialization. What colour do we want the game to be? Well, we want it to be nice, don't we? So I'm going to say 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's going to have to be that. Event game initialization. Paper. Paper. 15. Just so we've got a nice... Third, paper 13. So it's a nice light blue. File. Save. Save the project again. Uh, no, Roland Rescue Redux 10. Save. Yes. I'll save it once more into the main position. The APJ. Save it into here. Yes. File build. We've still got that error. Label not found. I still don't know where the hell we've put that label and what happened there. But let's see how it goes. So we'll get this and we'll make a, a, a snapshot again. And then it'll, all should be fine with the world and that'll be nice. So it'll have a nice blue outline on the game, essentially. Ba dum ba 
bum ba 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 da 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 ba 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 da 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 ba da 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 ba 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 da 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 Hopefully this is going to work out. It takes ages to load now that we've got all this code in it. Oh my goodness, you'd think that we'd made a big game. My goodness, the things we've added should not create huge amounts of problems like this, but here we are. Nevertheless, here we are. File, save as snapshot on the desktop. Huh, it's not there. How weird. Roland Rescue Redux demo. It is there. Weird. Okay, let's try now. Okay, whoa. That's interesting. We've now got uh, weird stuff at the bottom. Well, that's something like we can sort out next time, and it all just works. So we're fine. We're good. Everything's peachy. It looks a bit weird, but everything's peachy. Peachy keen. Okay, this... Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This works. All right, I'm happy now. I'm happy with this. This this is good. So, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, guys, we have a working game. So, that is fantastic. And if I just bring up this... Do, 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 do. Hello there. And <laughs> we've, got a, we've got the basis of a good game. And I can check on my uh, screen now. Yes, we have got the uh, Roll and Rescue Redux demo. So I am now going to try and find where I... So there we are. Where is my Dropbox? Uh... Or oh, Google Drive, actually. That will work. So I'm just going to upload to uh, my Google Drive okay, on Game Hammer Live Game Coding. Yeah, Roll and Rescue Redux demo. Upload that. Roll and Rescue Redux demo. Share. Set the sharing for it. Is it possible to download? Uh, only people with access can open the link. Anyone with the link, that's what I want. Copy that link. Link copied, done. Grab the uh, link. Okay, here's the demo. Here's the link to the demo. There you go. So if you click on that, you can download your own copy of the uh, S.SNA format snapshot, which should work in pretty much every uh, web browser uh, emulator or standard standalone emulator. So let's try that. ZX Spectrum web brow browser emulator. JSpecy3, that sounds fine. Okay. Let's bring this up. File. Open. The demo. Okay. Unrecognized file type. Oh. oh good grief. That's interesting. Oh! It doesn't have a .sna file on, file on the end. Right. File open. A snap file open yes guys it's working right so i'll change that in the uh in the google drive now that file that you've just got you'll have to put dot sna on the end of its file name for it to work but let me just see if i can rename it rename dot sna okay so that now works get the link for that copy that updated renamed file there you go there's your there's a thing it's the same link but you know and now if i bring up um 
remove that, uh, close down the uh, multi-platform arcade thing, exit that, then uh, where's my ops? So if I go to here, or command one, now you get to see the screen again, and we can cl close that. Here is Roland Rescue Redux, just running in a browser. Let's see if this works. Keyboard. Don't, it's A and D for left and right as default, and then I to jump. But there we go. It's working in an actual game, in a browser. That is so cool. So, yeah, you can play this now at your leisure. If you wish, it will work. There we go. There we are. And that's just JSS, sorry, jsspecky.zxdemo.org. And it was running our game. There we go. So, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed that. We're going to be getting... <laughs> Excellent. I approve of Leisure, but why must Roland die? She'll be alive as Bethlehem dead. Because the Gribblies don't want Roland to uh, rescue Christmas. Because the Gribblies smell and they hate Christmas. But, yeah, that is so cool. I am so happy with this, guys. So happy. So, let me just bring myself back up on screen. So, there you go. I'm really pleased with how this is going. I hope you are too. Take care. Have a great evening. Retro gaming for the win. And we will be back tomorrow where we'll be playing some, uh, what's that word? Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yes. But we have got the basis of an excellent game here. And I'm really pleased. It's it's coming together. We had a bit of teething trouble at first, but I think, I think uh, we can all agree that this game is coming together very nicely at this point which is all that we need learning process but once you've learned it it's a, it's the same as uh what yahtzee has said on a a, a game review once uh, a steep learning curve is only a problem once because once you've learned it <laughs> you can play it and you understand it but i'm really happy with this i hope you are too until tomorrow take care i've been zoe kirk robinson you've been watching game hammer live game coding where we code games live it's amazing that really descriptive name and happy retros. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great night. Bye. I just keep hitting my glasses. Sorry. <laughs> Take care. Bye.